Hello everyone, it's William Redfox and welcome to my world. So as the video title suggests, we have hit the 4000 mark, so we are now back in Foxgrove and have done an additional section onto the village. Now, this is also a special video for the fact that it's also the 100th episode on this channel. And as it is the 100th episode on this channel, I thought I would make it a special one by actually getting the rest of the island completed in one full video. Now, it took some time to actually get this done, but it looks so good that it's now finished. And since it was a special build, I thought I would also bring in one last little feature to finish it all off. And this is actually the first Plains Biome House that I built for the channel. Now, I thought it was the only right for it to be the last build that goes onto this island. Now, for a long time, this build was actually one of the highest viewed builds on my channel. It's only fairly recent that it actually isn't. Who knows, with this done, I might actually revisit some of the older builds and just get them rebuilt to a more modern standard. But for now, let's just do a quick walkthrough of what we've done today. For those who remember the previous episode, the wall actually came up to here. So we've now pushed that back, put a nice little fountain connecting these two roads together, and added a couple houses around the side as well. Not forgetting to add the guard towers all the way through. And to split the road up a bit, we put this little house in between, so both roads run either side of it. After that, we continued the wall all the way down here, while also building up what is to be known as the residential area of this build. So as you can see, all the houses are quite packed together and all next to each other with all different sizes and shapes. And then of course we added in a cobblestone cliff all the way around there. Now it's not much of a cliff but it is a little bit of a ridge and I thought it would be best to build this in cobblestone so it gives it the look that it was actually man-made rather than being natural. And the reason for that is this cliff over here. As you've noticed the other cliff on the front of the build was made of stone as well to make it look natural and we built in another cliff just to tie everything in together over here. And we've got another church on this side since there's another church over there for the poor district and the residential district for the rich and wealthy we've got another church and just a reminder that all these builds are actually got their interiors fully done so as you can see each floor has different things going on and then on the top you've got the nice little bell at the top and then as you continue down this way there's just rows and rows of houses all lined up all the way over here to the cliffside walkway now i thought it would be nice to have a little path near the top of this cliff since this just goes straight onto the actual back of what we did last time and from here we've got a little pathway here that's got a few houses through and then at the far end we've got a few trees breaking it off so that you don't actually see the major house on the other side. But one of the nicest things that I've added on is if we come back towards this church, you can actually walk this direction and actually head through all these trees filled with lanterns and it looks even better through the night. So with all that done, we actually have three things left that we need to finish off for this little build on this island. And that is the personal harbour that connects directly into the marketplace, the stock harbour, which will have its own little storage area as well over this side, as well as the lighter house that's going to sit on this little island here. Once all of them are done, we can actually start moving towards the inland and go to the other side of this bridge and start building on the bigger island on the other side. And that brings us to the end of the video. So if you could comment, like, and subscribe, that helps out a ton. And as a friendly reminder, we are trying to hit 100 subscribers so that we can commence the battle festival. As soon as we have more subscribers and we get closer to the goal of 100 subscribers, I will start releasing more information on what that entails. But for now, that's the end of the video.